Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Exiled Lands, in map square C10 in the Tundra, building a Veneer home. This build uses Frontier heavily to emulate the Northern Veneer style reminiscent of Viking buildings. This build uses mods heavily in decoration, but not in construction. The full list of mods and their load order can be seen as usual in the pinned comment below. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 68% of a two year deal plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to learn more about how to browse the internet safely and securely with NordVPN. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. I wanted to go with something fairly unconventional for this design to create a roomy home that didn't rely on the typical shapes. Therefore, I used frontier wedges and foundations to create a fairly amorphous build using an oval base shape as the starting block. I also added two 3x3 towers on two sides of the build and a veranda on the front of the home, though I would later extend this veranda around the majority of the build in the furnishing phase. Next for the walls, I used frontier walls around the build, including frames regularly to keep the build connected to the environment. I also placed doorways on the veranda, but in general I'll be trying to keep the build fairly open plan. I created another veranda at the front of the build looking over the river, fenced it off and built the walls two tiles high for the ground floor. Next for the first floor. I built stairs up in both 3x3 towers and created partial ceilings over the walls using frontier ceilings. I also added some pillars on the ground floor to add some stability and visual structure to the home. I continued to extend these ceilings out until I had about half of the floor covered. This will be the bedroom that hangs above the main hall. I continued to build the walls up two tiles high for this floor, again leaving a balcony above the ground floor river facing veranda. Next for the top floor, I built both 3x3 towers up, building a staircase in one of the towers and then connecting them together on the second floor, again building the walls up two tiles high. After fencing off the first floor catwalks, I placed ceilings over the build to completely cover the walls. You could do a lot with this fairly open, flat roof space, though I chose just to build a roof over the majority of the area. This particular biome is quite cold and rainy, and therefore having an outdoor seating area didn't seem too practical, but that's just personal preference. I followed the flow of the roof, adding spiked accents and capping off the towers with square roofs to a pointed apex, and then finally adding awnings and fences around the build when necessary.
Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, I've lit the interior with wall candles and the exterior with skull candle decorations. I've changed a couple of architectural features on the exterior and interior of the build, along with adding thematically appropriate decorations outside of the build. The home also now includes an extensive surrounding veranda, as I mentioned earlier. Entering the home, I've managed to keep everything feeling warm and open plan, whilst also capturing the raw and violent feeling that perfectly suits a veneer home. On the left side of the ground floor is a small kitchen, with a large dining table as the centrepiece of the hall, and a small seating area to the left of the dining area. I've tried to focus heavily on animal features within this build, along with skeletal decorations, to make the build feel like the home of somebody who lives a tough, violent life to survive. Heading upstairs, we reach the bedroom. Hanging above the main hall, the bedroom is fairly small but keeps the aesthetic perfectly, as even the bed has the animalistic theme with its hide sheets. The bedroom itself also has access just outside to the first floor balcony. Heading upstairs again, we reach the small study in the first tower, where the resident has a few books along with some potted plants to make salves and potions from. This tower has access to the roof walkway, which looks over the nearby river. Heading into the last tower, this is a ritualistic room focused on occult practices, where the blood, bones and items of defeated foes are sacrificed to Emir. As the Lord of War and Storms, the resident offers these relics to satiate Emir's thirst for violence, and to receive blessings in return. And there we have it, a Viking home in the exiled lands in Map Square C10. Thanks for watching, I was experimenting with a few different ideas before getting into this build, and the idea to build in the tundra seemed quite appealing, it's been a while since I've built in this area, and I am very happy with this design. 
As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure you can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to access Netflix, BBC iPlayer, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more regardless of where you live, all whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is the perfect choice for you. When you use my link or discount code you can get 68% off a 2 year deal, which comes out to $3.71 a month, an absolute bargain price for such a great service that I use almost every day. The software is a small download and it's easy to use one click and you're both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout to claim this huge discount and get the best VPN service available on the internet and also help me out a lot at the same time. As always, thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. Again, don't forget you can get 68% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note a thanks to our current patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, MK Pantheon, Shannara and Torn. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.